Okay, Opie face with some tracing paper. We're gonna make a Julian Opie style face from your photograph. You've already done some research. You're gonna need your photo, which you should have taken home. There should be at least one in your sketchbook. If not, you'll have to find another one. Here's a painting. We're not going to paint, but I'm gonna use this as my guide. Now I'm gonna use Jono's picture. Uh, he doesn't know this, of course. And you will need your sketchbook, of course. You're gonna need cartridge paper for this job, and you're gonna do a drawing and it's gonna be in your sketchbook. But we need to get a picture of Jono onto the paper. What we're gonna do, well obviously we use tracing paper. If you don't have any tracing paper, then use some baking paper from the kitchen. If you haven't got any, after you've watched this video, then watch the other video I've put on the tag as well. Now, here's what we need. Now you need to put the tracing paper over the top. You might need a bit of paper to, uh, tape to hold it down. HB pencils are best for this because they're not too soft or too dusty. And keep it still. Take your time. Um, it won't take too long to watch this video, only about five minutes. I'm going to use this as my guide and I'm going to start with the eyes. Now the eyes are not pinpoints. They're circles probably bigger than your iris and a little bit smaller, sorry, bigger than your pupil and a little bit smaller than your iris. Um, and then of course we'll move on to the nostrils, which are not round, they're like small flat teardrops on the side. Now the mouth lines, well one goes from the corner to corner, straight underneath the bot sorry the top uh, underneath the top lip and a half line underneath the bottom the eyebrows be very careful don't make them big slugs try and outline just the general area of where the eyebrow is if you can't see lift the paper up and have a look that's not so bad to start with you can't really see it i'm just going to shade the eyebrows in a little bit just to give me some definition so you can see the face in a minute now of course every face shape like this is unique let's have a look and there's john's face Let's do the rest. The hair, well, a bit like Lego hair, really. There's one big lump. Now I'm going to speed the rest up. Um, I can't really normally work this fast, but you get the general idea. Now, try and only draw, not what you see, but the outlines of areas. This isn't observational drawing anymore. Draw the basic shapes. And if you can't see them, lift up the paper and have a look underneath. I'm not too concerned about shadows. I'm not too concerned about anything very simplified version of what we're going to do. And there you have it. Now, it exists on tracing paper. And this is the front. This is the view we want to look at. Now, to get the pencil off the tracing paper, we've got to do a couple of different things. Let's go back to your sketchbook. Now, eventually we're going to put this probably near the front of your sketchbook on a clean piece of paper. But for now, turn to a back page. We're going to take the picture off the front and put some pencil on the back so we can transfer. This is a form of monoprinting. We print the image into the book. Same as before, over every single line. Uh, don't go so quickly, of course. This isn't actually speeded up. This is me working very quickly. Now, once you've done all this, you should have an imprint left in the back of your book. Now, you can use it another time. My pencil's getting quite blunt. I don't need it particularly sharp. A round end is good, but not too sharp. We're going to simply press the pencil on the other side. That tracing paper has pencil on both sides now. And now we can return to the front of your book. But of course, let's write the word back. Very easy to get confused with the front and the back. In the front of your book, find a new clean page. Preferably there's nothing underneath it that's going to be ruined if you press through. And now that's the back. We turn it over so we can see the front. We've got pencil on both sides and the same process as before. Uh, not too quick, but I'll speed this one up for you a little bit. Uh, this one's as fast as I can probably do it. Once this aspect is done, of course, then you should have uh, not a complete drawing, but the first stage of your Julian Opie style drawing in your sketchbook. Now, soft pencil lines are a good idea. 